All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, like we just got the okay that we can put the Pico 2Ws in the store. We actually got these last week, so they're gonna go in the shop real fast. Um, so check out adafruit.com to pick up some Pico 2Ws. These are awesome because they have the RP2350 plus that Wi-Fi module from the Pico W, um, lots of extra RAM and lots of extra processing power. So there's a, and um, a much bigger flash memory. So it's four megabytes, not two. So it's a perfect upgrade for the Pico W because some of the things that annoyed us about the W, um, the original was not enough RAM for some big projects and not enough flash to store all your files. Anyways, you're probably thinking, hey, I want to download CircuitPython for it. And then you're like, I, oops, sorry. if you search for Pico 2, you see the Pico 2, but not the W. That's because we didn't want to make it public yet um, since it wasn't announced. So to get it, just go here and then go down and then wherever you are, click on absolute latest. And then when you go up here, click on bin, so go up one level. And then you just scroll down. There's like 500 bores, but that's okay. I'll keep it. Okay, so up to Raspberry Pi, Pico 2W, click it, and then you pick your language. And the latest release, UF2, is there. Just install it by pressing the boot button while plugging it in and dragging the CircuitPython on there. And we've already tested it. It works great. So uh, you can get started instantly with all the drivers and support and Wi-Fi that you know and love for CircuitPython on the new Pico 2W. Easiest way to do things on the internet with a microcontroller with Python. I know, I love it. So much easier than just using it too easy, C. sorry, sorry. Too easy, too easy.